Hello my Aquarius loves. Today we're going to tap into your person's energy, the person on your mind, and find out how they're thinking and feeling about you, what they want to tell you, and what next actions they're going to make, okay? So let's dive into your intuitive messages, my loves. And there is a ton of energy going on around you. So Take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else. I could be picking up on multiple Aquarius energy, sun, moon, or rising. Also cross watchers, okay? So that's why it's just kind of overwhelming how much is going on here. So I'm going to do my best to organize it. So firstly, I was getting um, that you could have left a very triggering karmic relationship and it could have ended pretty badly and I'm so sorry if that was the case for you my loves. Just remember that everything in life happens for a lesson, a reason and a lesson, okay? So it can get us on the right path. Um, once you learn those lessons, that door closes, right? We're always presented with new lessons but that's what I'm picking up on there um, and I'm getting this strong energy of divine intervention, how to step in, okay? Um, and you know that saying, what is that saying? Um, rejection is divine protection. So you may have felt really rejected and didn't understand why this wasn't working out or what you needed to do differently, you know, just stay true to you. It wasn't about that, okay? So, um, this could have been someone that you had a very strong tie to. Maybe you even thought it was a, your soulmate or twin flame, but it was actually a karmic connection that had maybe came in from a past life that it never finished out, okay? Pretty tumultuous energy I'm getting there. Now, if that's not your message, that's okay. It's definitely for someone. Um, I'm also picking up on that date energy like we had in the last reading. So I feel like I'm seeing you really look at all your options and which one's best for you. Kind of a good problem to have, right? Might be a little confusing though. And um, maybe your patience is kind of running thin for some reason I'm just picking up right now. But there's also this real fun energy, vibrant, energetic, um, taking a risk. I'm I'm hearing Vegas or I'm seeing like casino, uh, but I now I'm getting like Vegas. So are you planning a trip to Vegas? Maybe you just got back from Vegas or um, like a trip with friends, maybe work. I feel like also if you're dating someone, they might surprise you with a trip to Vegas. Uh, they might have some other plans. <laughs> you know, people run off to Vegas to elope. But um, yeah, so there's that energy. And then I was also getting this really beautiful reunion energy, okay? Now, this is someone that makes you so happy, that you're really excited to hear from, connect with again. Could be the person on your mind. The cards are going to go into... The person on your mind, by the way, if I didn't already say that. So, um, now, this is a soulmate of yours, okay? And this is the person you're going to end up with if you're not already with someone, okay? In a healthy connection. And if you're like, who could that possibly be? Well, maybe it's a past life soulmate. But you're instantly going to have this strong, strong, incredible bond. <laughs> I love that energy. Um, I was picking up on, what was I picking up on? Um, Gemini, I believe. Okay, so let me close my eyes real quick and tap into the signs and initials. Leo, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces. Okay, those are the signs I'm picking up on. And now I'm just hearing sun, moon, arising, but it could also be another earth sign. Horse Virgo Capricorn, okay? So, let's see. What initials am I getting for Aquarius? I'm getting K-R-D. K-R-D. N-I-E-B and 
J. Okay? <laughs> that could be you, them, whatever. Let's dive into your cards, my loves, okay? So this is where we're going to tap into your person on your mind's energy. So we're going to get their overall energy first, my loves, and uh, see what's going on with them. And then we're going to see what, something's weird happening with my phone, so I hope this is recording. Mercury retrograde, y'all. Um, then we're going to see how they're thinking and feeling about you and their next actions and what they want to tell you. Okay, spirit, they said look at the bottom. Okay, reminiscing, making memories, learn from past, perception. Okay, Pisces energy here. Um, yes, okay. So, Tell me what's going on with the person on Aquarius mind. What is their energy like? Oh, scorpionic energy, shock. There's something shocking. There's a sudden change happening in the person on your mind's life, okay? There's like, maybe they're going to surprise you like I had mentioned. Um, this person could also be going through a major transformation, Um Maybe you're not going to recognize them when they come back. This could have been a connection from a while back, right? Um, and they might be having some sort of epiphany about you, Aquarius, okay? So something shocking is about to be revealed here with the person on your mind. Okay, what else is going on with, oh, love. They're having some major epiphany, like... This person really has been watching you. They adore you. They admire you. Uh, it's this really beautiful, enchanted energy, okay? So tell me what's going on here. Uh, tell me what's going on. And I just heard, you guys, someone just said, why did all this time have to pass? And the thing is, you guys had to wrap up karmic cycles with someone else, okay? Just remember that. Um... There isn't anything, like, there's no such thing as time, really, um, on Earth. If <laughs> there is, but you guys have never really left each other, okay? What's going on with the person on Aquarius's mind spirit? Oh, not on their mind. What's going on with them? That was a lot. They got to flip over. What's going on with the person on Aquarius's mind? Woo! They're single now, my loves. They're single and they're coming after you. Yep, that's their current status. They are available and they are not attached to someone else. Now, this might be shocking for you <laughs> because maybe you always thought about them. This is the person on your mind, right? And um, it's like, I can't believe this person got a divorce or I can't believe this person is now available, right? Yes. Okay, I love this. New chapter, new chapter together. Uh, something significant again about either 4th of July or New Year's Eve, okay? Tell me what's going on for the person on Aquarius' mind. What's what's their energy, Spirit, the person on Aquarius' mind? And if you guys are on TikTok watching this, go over to YouTube and watch the rest of the reading. I'm giving out a code, and when you hear the code, Write that in the comments and you'll get to ask a free question. So I'm going to give you a free mini reading, okay? All right, my loves. Okay, so the directions will be on YouTube, pinned in the comments. All right, so much going on here. Tell me what's going on with the person on Aquarius's mind. I just heard Aries. What's going on here? That just dropped. Sorry, guys. Okay, so they might um, be feeling like you neglected them or it says, I failed to give you what you needed, okay? Now, I just heard when I read that because we were too young, okay? So that's for someone out there. Um, but maybe when you guys were connected, they failed to give you what you needed. We're gonna find out here, okay? Okay, so let's find out. Let's first start, I haven't been clarifying the overall energy for them. But let's find out about this neglected, because maybe that's tied to their person and why they're single now, okay? What is this neglected? I failed to give you what you need. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Um, I'm getting the situation this could be a wife, or um, tell me more about this. Oh, temperance, balancing things out in a connection. 
things were unbalanced here. Now take this how this resonates for you, either um, with uh, you and them or in their connection. That's why they became single. Okay, so let's find out how how are they thinking and feeling about my Aquarius spirit. How are they thinking and feeling about my Aquarius? The person on Aquarius mind, how are they thinking and feeling about my Aquarius? Ooh, honey, I'm telling you guys, this is incredible. Six of Cups, they are reminiscing about you. This is the soulmate card. Um, this is having fond memories, looking at your pictures, missing you like crazy, wanting to reconnect, collaborate, team up. Like I said, some of you, you could work with this person or you did in the past. Um, so they, what they're looking for, they want to get back together. They want to mend this connection. They, uh, this is really sweet, sweet energy. It doesn't feel like maybe you had a bad, uh, un unless they did neglect you, okay? Um, but this is going to come out of nowhere, I feel, for you guys. It's very shocking that you're going to hear from this person. And this is someone that always saw you as their husband and wife, I just heard, Okay. Uh, we've got Capricorn and Scorpionic energy. And their third eye, I feel like I saw that, is their awakening to your connection. Um, and it's activating their heart chakra here, okay? Yes. Okay. What else do we have here? How else are they thinking and feeling about my Aquarius spirit? Hermit. <laughs> You guys could have a strong Virgo placement. I'm telling you, Virgo was coming through pretty strong. Um, but they feel like you're this very spiritual, um, perhaps religious, or um, just really wise, um, intuitive energy. This has been some time. It feels like you guys have grown up. Um, and you're very self-reflected. See, the Hermit carries the Aquarius, the star in the lantern here, okay? So they always feel like you're this guiding light for this person, okay? Maybe you've helped this person on their journey in some way. Um, they also view you as um, this star energy here. You could be someone that gives guidance or something like that. Um... They just think of you very, very fondly here, okay? Yeah, and they want to manifest this connection. Gemini, Virgo, uh, more of that energy. How are they thinking and feeling about my Aquarius spirit? Nah, it came out. <laughs> the magician. Yeah, so they are feeling like they want to start over, and they hold all the tools at their disposal now. So they have the Ace of Swords, the truth, the clarity, um, the love, the passion, um, and tangible energy as well with the earth. So th this holds all of the elements and it's like a new beginning. And they're, they're definitely manifesting this. And this is them going to communicate Gemini, um, Virgo energy. This is the, the art of communication that Mercury, um, energy and this might mercury retrograde being in aries might be bringing them back during this season right now okay wow okay so how else are they thinking and feeling about my aquarius that's maybe why i heard aries unless they're in aries too oops oh. okay let's try that sorry let's try that again guys too many cards how else are they thinking and feeling about my Aquarius? The sun. Your, their happiness. Yeah. Just like I saw in the very beginning, the intuitive messages. You're this joy. You're this ball of light. This Leo energy that I had mentioned. Okay. You're their happiness. And um, they want to have a success and union with you. Okay. Whatever obstacles that they or you need to overcome. They want to get through this together like teammates, you know? Okay, so yeah, tied to work. You, Some of you might have worked with this person. There's a strong working, like wanting to put in the work here. What is their next actions towards, ooh, 
communications flying in really, really quick, you guys. They may even be traveling towards you, calling you, let, letting you know. Uh, this may be someone from your hometown. Sorry, my loves, I forgot to put on Do Not Disturb. Okay, so communication travel, planning a trip, planning a surprise is coming in, flying in fast from this person. And look at this, the will of fortune. They want change. This is destined. They feel like they're destined to be with you, okay? And look at this, ten of pentacles. This They see forever with you. Union. Um, um family, getting married, blending finances, getting a home because you are their soulmate again. And look at this. They want to make you a love offer. They've never, ever let you go. Okay. So what is their next actions, please? The person on Aquarius mind, what is their next action towards my Aquarius? What is their next action towards my Aquarius, please? Oh, like I said, they're about to message you, boo, and say, hey, like really exciting and good news. You're going to be so happy to hear from this person. So messages flying in, you guys. Let me know in the comments if you hear from this person. Tell me if you know who this person is. They might have a Sagittarius placement. Okay, could be a friend of yours. Could be someone you work with. What is their next actions towards my Aquarius, please, Spirit? The person on Aquarius mind, what is their next action towards Aquarius? What is their next action, please? Mmm, see? That Piscean energy. They've gotten the new perspective that they've needed. They've been stuck in a situation, in a connection with someone else, perhaps. Um, it flew on the side. So they're getting ready. They're preparing for this, okay? Um, they're trusting that the signs and synchronicities that they're getting from the universe, like they see you everywhere in their dreams, your name, your car, whatever it is. They're, they're getting all of this, um, these downloads, okay? Yes, yes. And this is this could have been up to 12 years for, for some of you. Uh, or maybe you even knew them when you were like 8 or 12 years old. Childhood, you know? Yeah, tell me what their next action is towards Aquarius, please, Spirit. What is their next action towards Aquarius? To lay down the burdens, okay? They're putting an end to whatever kept them stuck, okay? Um, they want to release this so they don't bring the baggage to you, okay? So they're releasing this baggage, whatever it is for them. Tell me what's going on. What's the next action towards Aquarius? What is their next action towards my Aquarius? And then we're going to find out what they want to tell you. Okay, yeah, they're going to make a love offer, guys. Absolutely, they're in love with you. This is beautiful. They're very romantic. They're going to plan something special. Definitely. Oh, and they're obsessed, honey. <laughs> they have a lot of passion for you. Okay, my loves. So let's find out what they want to tell you, sweethearts. Um, everything you need to know about me will be in the description box below on YouTube. I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you that. And those that are new and don't know me, I'm Lily, guys. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Uh, click like and subscribe to help my new channel grow, please. Um, I sure appreciate it. Okay, so Spirit, what do they want to tell my Aquarius? The person on Aquarius' mind in this situation, what do they want to tell my Aquarius? Ooh, okay. On a soul level, I can feel you are the only one for me. Yeah. I seriously think they were married or in a different connection, okay? There's been some time apart here. And they're they're just awakening. It's like out of nowhere. This is why it's going to be so shocking. And it could have been when they were younger. It says, I couldn't give my love to you because my cup was empty, right? I mean, if you're in your... As a kid, you don't have a lot to give. A teenager, college, you know... They're, we're just discovering life at that point, okay? So they didn't have, and maybe that's why you felt neglected by this person, perhaps, for those that that resonates for. What do they want to tell my Aquarius? Okay, it didn't come out. Uh, I still have hope that we can work through this. Yeah, absolutely. They definitely want to be with you, Aquarius. No doubt about it. What else do they want to tell my Aquarius, please, Spirit? 
Oh, geez, Louise. Okay, this is a lot of messages, but let's go for it. Okay, so it says, I've been feeling in the dark without you in my life. Yeah, they have no idea. Like, the M you probably have no idea the impact you made on their life as well. I can't live without you, but I don't, I don't know, I don't want to know. Oh, these cards are, I don't know why they put this line separating it. It doesn't make sense. I can't live without you, but I don't want you to know this, okay? So, <laughs> they're, uh, they're timid because they haven't seen you in a long time. And they're just like, what if I get rejected? Um, I wish we can little do they know you're thinking about them right this is the person on your mind i wish we could make it work and be together again they're wishing and hoping to be with you and i got scared of my own feelings but because they were too intense and who just had this pisces have this my loves okay so i sure hope you enjoyed this reading and found it helpful the code that I want you to write if you want to ask a free question is your Chinese zodiac sign. Okay, my love? So that's just the year you were born. If you need to look that up, go for it. And um, then ask your question. So I'll pin the directions in the comments below. You have to like and subscribe as well. And um, I go into details, not just the yes or no. I explain what's going on. So... Uh, ask away, my loves. I sure hope you enjoyed this. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, my loves.